Hi guys, I'm Karina. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Today we're gonna talk about uh, sunspots, age spots, anything like acne scars that you have on your face that you do not like and you do want to hide but still look like yourself. Very natural, glowy finish that just radiant and all of that good stuff. So lately um, I've been having a lot of sunspots. This is my, my face without any makeup at all. I just have my moisturizer. Um, this has been, I've always had kind of like the sunspot here but lately it's been really really dark um, as well as like some in here I have some on my mustache area that's growing right now it's all hormonal for me in my case anyway uh, but the technique should, should be the same for everybody I've been struggling to find the right foundation with the right coverage I do not like super um, full coverage foundations for me I just look too done up and that's not the look that I like um, so it's been a lot of experimenting and trying to find the right products to achieve a great skin finish and still hide my sunspots so I'm gonna walk you through all of them and I'm going to start with a primer so the primer is one important thing I mean after you have all of your skincare done obviously um, I like the primers that have a little bit of coverage built in to them as well that will help to kind of get all of that kind of like add the layers so you can really have and achieve a really good um, finish for your skin so what I'm using today is the LeBlanc from Chanel this is in the color rose or rosé um, not my favorite really I like mimosa better but this is what I have here so this is what we're gonna have to do what I like about these two sets of primers the LeBlancs is that they do leave a whitish finish to the skin um, if I didn't have the sunspots I really wouldn't care for it but because I do have those spots it's really helping add that extra layer without looking makeup-y. Little bit on my hands and I'm actually going to focus right on my T-zone really where my spots are just the darkest okay the other product um, there's there's several products that you can use like a full coverage foundation obviously will take care of this and concealer but for me I'm trying to achieve like a natural look natural glow and um, it's hard to achieve that with full coverage foundations just so you know so I'm concentrating this in the middle got it you're a little bit Casper-ish but you're gonna take care of that really quickly here then the secret of it all it is in this little guy here CC cream it's the Chanel CC cream this guy will do they have an SPF of 50 so it's a combination of a high SPF with a long wear makeup um, in it I love it because it does have the, the, the highest coverage of all of the makeups that I found. Only problem is it only comes in 20, 30 and 40 colors. So it's very limited. I feel like mine, when it oxidizes, um, it does become a, a good color for me. Mine I'm wearing right now is the color beige uh, 40. So it's just hard to find. Like if you're really dark skin, it's gonna be hard for you to find one like of this product another thing that I'm doing lately instead of just going with the brush I'm just really applying the product with my hands just like this where I feel like it needs the most right and then you're gonna go with your foundation brush I like the Kabuki's one and um, kind of pat it not really buff too much you can buff on the places that you're not trying to hide but the places that you do have uh, sunspots and you're trying to hide I would just really like dab it
Then you can bring it down. See, all of those spots are almost all gone. That's the last step that I would do to hide the spots is the concealer. This is also a Chanel. Mine is a 30. Um, I don't like the NARS concealer on like this, the Radiance uh, concealer, because it's really drying for me. However, this one is just really moisturizing and very radiant to the skin. So here's what I'm doing. I'm doing that little V and since my sunspot's right here, that's where I'm covering with this. So you don't really need a, a big layer. You just need to touch that. Again, you're gonna come with that and dab it. You can buff it on the edges so it doesn't look like you have a ton of makeup. But right where you have the spots, you just dab it again. Bring it over to wherever else you feel like you, you needs. And here you are. I know it does not look great because I don't have any other makeup on, but it is an amazing way of hiding all of those, those um, spots. As you can see, there's just really nothing left. Not even eyebrows. Guys, for finishing purposes, I'll just do the Tarte um, finishing powder, translucent, universal, whatever it's called. Um, this is a great way of setting it. You really want to set this because you don't want that product to move from your face. And it is dewy, it is moisturizing, so you just want to kind of like really dab it like this. So now your skin is perfectly ready for you to start applying makeup to it. And here's the final result with makeup on. Very minimal, very natural. And this is the if this is the result that you're trying to achieve with a nice skin, you can really go anywhere. But this is my take on it, this is what I did, and I am preparing a video especially showing you how to achieve this look. It's a minimal makeup slash summer makeup, however you want to call it. And as soon as it's done and edited and published, I will make sure to add the link right down here in this little box. So make sure you check all my social media, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This, this means so, 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 so much. So I hope you enjoy this. Don't forget, don't forget to click on subscribe and uh, I'll see you next time. Um beijo. Tchau, tchau.